I like to add a bit of geometry to my organic looking paintings, my very busy organic paintings. Um, and I use architectural stencils or architectural geometric shapes. Here I'm trying to find out exactly where on the composition it works best. And when I find that, it's next, it's time to add the glue. The glue I use for diamond dust is Yes Paste. Yes Paste is really easy to clean up. It doesn't yellow, it dries clear. Um, and I'm paying close attention to the edges at this point with the glue, spreading the edges first, making sure it's really crisp and clean around those edges, making sure I'm not going under the stencil, but just going around the edge of the stencil, but staying very close to that edge. Once I get the edge, I fill in the center with the glue and make sure everything is really even. I'm just using a regular brush that can be easily cleaned up with soap and water right after I'm finished applying. Once I get that on there um, evenly, um, I'm going to add the diamond dust. I use diamond dust because it is a little bit more elegant than glitter. It's clear and a little bit more chunky. It looks a little bit like fake snow, but it's a lot nicer than fake snow. I'm using a Parmesan cheese shaker to add the diamond dust um, because I found that it's the easiest thing to use that the diamond dust can come out of because it is a little bit more chunkier than glitter. Always add a little bit more than you think you need on there and make sure you pay attention to those edges. Get next to those edges, okay, and just let it set. After you've allowed the painting to sit overnight, you're going to tap off the excess glitter or diamond dust um, from there. I always use a manila folder because you can catch it and then you can just pour the excess right back into the jar and you don't have as much waste. I just kind of carefully tip the painting, tapping the back, um, gently tapping the back. You can kind of see how I'm doing that gently and then tipping the painting also, allowing that diamond dust to fall into the manila folder. Okay, and once you capture it all, you can, like I said, put it back in the jar. Um, there should be a little extra diamond dust on the edge or around the painting. Just wipe that off with your hand. You'll see me do that. All right, that's it.